There was a UFO over California tonight. <laughs> or was there? Boom. What's this? UFO? Mm, maybe. Maybe not. UFO? Maybe. Maybe not. UFO? Maybe. Maybe not. UFO? No. You are seeing the twilight phenomenon of a SpaceX rocket taking off from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. The rocket took off at, what, 721? Uh, and it's one of these guys. It's a SpaceX Falcon 9, one of my all-time favorite rockets. It's a two-stage rocket with nine Merlin engines on one end and a single vacuum-optimized Merlin engine on the top. And it was delivering the SAOCOM 1A satellite into a polar orbit. Now, in case you don't know, there's rocket launches that happen all the time out at Vandenberg. Like, all the time, every month or so. But you don't always get a chance to see them like this. Um, if you want to go watch a launch, just go to my website, everydayastronaut.com slash prelaunch previews and see for yourself when the next launch is going to be that comes out of Vandenberg Air Force Base. But here's here's a little bit of the replay from, from the launch, just so you, you can see what we're talking about here. So if we scrub around here, we'll see the launch. Um, this just happened. I literally was live streaming this whole thing. Hundreds of thousands of people are, you know, watched it and were, were prepared for it. And here we go. So it took off at, where was this? Let's just find it taking off here. Now what you'll see is this vehicle obviously ascends using 1.7 million pounds of thrust. And there it goes. And so obviously us space nerds knew all about this launch. We've been planning and like getting ready to watch it because that's what we do. We we're very enthusiastic about these things. This thing's really tall, 70 meters tall. Uh, that's uh, how many in the America? 220 feet tall. It's very tall. This is a big old rocket um, putting a rather small payload into, into space though today. Um, so yeah, so uh, if you can't tell, I'm a huge nerd. Obviously, I have all these other rockets. But the reason you could see the plume that you saw is something known as, as the twilight phenomenon. That's when... The, the exhaust plume, uh, the rocket took off when it's, when it's nighttime here on Earth. So the sun had set, right? 30, 45 minutes later, uh, when the rocket takes off, all of a sudden it gains enough altitude to get into line of sight of the sun. And voila, next thing you know, the exhaust plume from the rocket is also hitting, getting hit by the sun, and it's backlit illuminated. So it's coming, the sunlight is coming from behind, illuminating all the exhaust, and then you on the ground observe the crazy beautiful a uh, plume of exhaust that can expand for miles and miles and miles in the vacuum of space. So um, that's what that is. And it's really exciting. It's it's a lot of fun. This is the stuff that I like live for. I think there was even a shot in the live stream where you get to see the twilight phenomenon pretty well, um, especially in the second stage. Um, let's see here. So this was a literal replay. I still have it up from the live stream. So if you're going... Oh, man, it's all. So this, and for those of you wondering, you might have saw little extra puffs, these little, like, spiral things. That is the vehicle orienting itself to land back on land because SpaceX's rockets can land themselves. Uh, that's one of the exciting things about SpaceX and the vehicles they produce. So there you see the thrusts. These are puffs of RCS, so reaction control systems. They're actually these cold nitrogen gas thrusters, and there's two pods. Each pod has four thrusters. It gives it the ability to roll, pitch, and yaw the vehicle and correct its orientation and point it, make its trajectory go right back, literally like hundreds, like only like 1500 feet or 500 meters or so away from the launch pad is where this new landing pad, this is the first time SpaceX ever landed on land in California. Really cool mission. So freaking awesome. Um, but what you're seeing there is you're seeing the puffs of cold nitrogen gas and there. After the cold puffs of nitrogen gas and as there's exhaust um, coming off, you can actually still see ice particles floating around. The vehicle is experiencing zero G right now. It is free falling from 132 kilometers. Um, that's what, 75 or so miles in altitude it is out in the vacuum of space, but it is falling. Um, as you can tell, 130 and that's going to continue going down, but it's in free fall. So those particles that are any ice buildup, any thrust, anything like that is literally just moving with the vehicle now. So that's what you're seeing there. Um, it's pretty cool. That's a shot looking up the upper stage where the second stage engine and how it held onto the upper stage. Um, the, on the right, you're seeing the upper stage continue to go on to, into orbit and the first stage is heading back to land. So if you want to watch this video, I will post a link to the live stream. Um, I also, this happened almost at this exact time last year, sometime around this time last year. 
there was uh, another twilight phenomenon in California. These happen all the time in Florida. I'll try to link some other examples of twilight phenomenons. You know, Florida has a lot more rocket launches than we do. But in Florida, it has to be a pre-dawn. The sun has to be, it has to be before sunrise in order to get um, a twilight phenomenon there. So there you go. That's why, um, wait, sorry, you, no, sorry. It doesn't have to be a sunrise. It has to be, um, in order for it to be backlit illuminated, it has to be a sunrise. You'd still see it even at night. Um, if the sun just set, you might still see a twilight phenomenon. They're normally not as bright and as beautiful as uh, as if it was a sun pre-sunrise. You'll see it both, is what I'm saying. But the ones where it's backlit illuminated are a lot more vibrant and a lot more beautiful um, from that vantage point. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I talk about this stuff all the time. These rockets are really cool and exciting. Um, and they're built right there in... And down, basically downtown Los Angeles in Hawthorne, California, like right in the middle of LA. Um, it's really cool. Uh, fun, fun launches to watch. So join me next time. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, bringing space down to earth for everyday people.